Hello everyone, this is Tobe Wonderland. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. My gosh, it has been a while since I've played this. Well, let me reward that. It's been a while since I've had a decent recording set up of it. Hoping things go alright. It looks like everything I have right now is going perfectly fine. Which is good, that's what I like to see. Yeah, the last time I attempted to record this for the previous weekend before Christmas, and I'll talk about... Um, the lack of updates over the weekend here in a minute, but first I wanted to say about uh, the recording I did of this before. It, it was like a couple minutes in and I already knew it was screwing up, and sure enough when I reviewed the video, it had sped up and slowed down in so many parts. And by the way, this is the start of Area 3. Since we defeated Bogmire, we are in the courtyard with a drape hanging on a tree. Really odd. But yeah, that's what had happened to that recording, so I apologize. This particular game does not want me to complete a Let's Play of it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this game... I love this game! It's just, I can't believe I've had so much difficulty recording it. Oh, before we do continue on, since I just got that water element ghost, I can go ahead and show this off quick. At least it's safe to go through the different areas of the mansion now. I believe there's one in here. Wow, this room's still dark even though the lights are on. Okay, yeah, I checked that already. I don't remember. There's, I remember there's a plant up here, but... Okay, never mind. That does nothing. Uh, in the mansion, there are certain areas that have plants that you can water, and if you couldn't figure it out by now, you get rewarded for doing that. So I highly suggest you go back and do that whenever you can. As Luigi just said, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, as while well, I'm making my way out to the... Uh, what's it called again? Boneyard. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Uh, we have watered it one time already. Let's go ahead and water it again. And that plant's getting even bigger. Well, that's a nice flower. Uh, we're still not finished with that yet, but that's what we can do for the time being, at least. Boy, I don't know why I have so much trouble opening doors. Anyway, I was talking about why, um... Well, rather... Yeah, why there have not been any videos around Christmas time. Well, if... I haven't stated it before, um, I don't upload on holiday weekends. I mean, I, I did make an exception to Halloween, but that's because it was well deserving of that. And, uh, just something nice to give for that particular time of the year. Uh, but I would upload a video on Christmas kind of like as a gift, per se, but, uh, I usually don't have any time to just sit down and do any recording on days like that. I don't know why I came in here. There's nothing in here. I'm wasting time. We need to go back out to the foyer. But, um, yeah, there hasn't been any up updates since, uh, this, uh, past Christmas weekend. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and even the day after. Um, and I actually was originally going to return the day after to do more recording, but I actually was not home at all on December 26th, and I don't have access to any of my, well, nothing really. I have no access to my games, no access to my recording software. Well, I mean, I could take my laptop with me to some places, but it wouldn't do me any good because, you know, I can't take the game with me when it's for a home console. But yeah, there's a green emerald you can get out of that plant there if you water it. I think there might be one more. Yeah, there is like a rose in here. Oh! Another flower that does nothing. Well, there is one other place I do know you can go to. But yeah, I, I'm sorry about the lack of updates. Uh, this is actually being posted uh, shortly after Christmas. Uh, not necessarily the day after, because as I just explained, I was not home at all that day. But, uh... This will be up probably to the day I'm recording it. Because it's mm -hmm. been a while since I've actually updated with anything. Are those... Well, they're flowers, but... 
don't seem to do anything when you put water on them. I didn't know this place was kooky like that, and there is a gold bar there. That's so weird, you would think everything could be waterable. <laughs> but I know these plants you can water, out here on this balcony. No, treasure flying everywhere. Gold bar and a blue sapphire it looks like, that's what I'm going to call it anyway. And in these are coins and dollar bills. Or they Mushroom Kingdom bills. I don't know, that's uh, food for thought there. The currency of the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, obviously, coins are used that way. Not all the... Not in every game, but most games, at least. I mean, I know there are exceptions to that. Like, um... Oh, shoot, I had a good one on top of my head, and I can't remember it now. But uh, sometimes I know coins aren't the currency. Um, well, Super Mario Galaxy, that's what I was thinking of. Star Bits are actually used as currency instead of the coins, even though coins are collectible in that game. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is the same way. I thought that was weird, like the fact that you have coins, and then Star Bits can also be used in an offensive way, too. I rarely do that, though, when I play that game, because I just... I get so OCD when it's like part of your currency, and it's like, don't waste money sort of sense. And, since we're back out in the courtyard, these plants are waterable, so it was very convenient for that fountain to be there. Get all these coins. How dare you hit me! And you lost a coin, oh well. Let's get that green emerald there. And there's one more here. Oh, that ghost. And I had a heart in it. Oh well. I could use some hearts, I suppose. Oh, I hear faint screaming. And, hey, look, a birdhouse. And inside it... Well, before getting creeped up, I guess, we have Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. And the statue has some money in it. That's always nice. What else do we got here? So, oh, more dollar bills. Some kind of shed, it looks like. And, yeah, bad idea. I should have used the vacuum on that. Porter Gus 3000. There is Toad in here. Something terrible was in that well. Well then, I shall check that well. Oh, that was terrible. And you are getting annoying. Thank you. Yes, let's check the well, shall we? If I, I hear screaming it, or some kind. Could it be? Hmm, something here at the bottom of the well. We're not in Ocarina of Time. This looks nothing like the bottom of the well. <laughs> yeah, Zelda reference there. But anyway, we do see it here in the basement of the mansion. Whoa, what is that? Get me out of here! It's Mario, and he's trapped in a painting. Oh, the irony. <laughs> oh, and a ghost is right behind us. And a key floating in midair. How about that? With a lantern. I like how this bottom of the well kind of functions as a little room, as well as the Zelda reference. But uh, that gets us going through to the next room, since that's where the court courtyard was at. But yeah, there's nothing we can really do about Mario at the time being. If I just walk back out, there is King Boo, and it says we're in a secret altar. Doesn't look like there's anything we can do about that, though. Anyway, so that's what happened to Mario. Well, Luigi, you got your work cut out for you this time. And, it, and as I said, it's so ironic, because Mario jumped into paintings in the previous Mario game, Super Mario 64. So you became a victim of your own fate. Two of them. That's just not right. 
I have an idea. Let's talk to Toad. Maybe he can turn the lights on for us. And this time, he can safely open the shed. Like that. I completely lost it. Ran through the mansion looking for a hiding place. While I was running, though, I did happen to notice that Mario left some of his things lying around the place. That's dirty. A hat, glove, shoe, letter, and a star. Five of them. Yeah, you should have picked them up. But leave it to Luigi. Yippee skippy doo doo. Ugh. Oh, thank you so much, Luigi. Yeah, sure, why not? And he did not turn the lights on. How dare he? We do have the key to get through to the next room. And we have made our way into what looks like a gym room, or the rec room is what it's called. Whoa, big ghost. Well, that doesn't look like someone I'd want to mess with. <laughs> uh, for your information, this ghost is actually completely optional. Because uh, the door there is unlocked. Look at this buffness, I'm huge. How'd you like to be my punching bag, weakling? Oh, well, now that he mentions it, there are punching bags in here. So how about we smack you a good one for calling us a punching bag? Oh, I tried to hit him. And don't throw your fists at me. There we go. We have to do this precisely three times. And third time's the charm. Knocked him flat on the floor. Giving us a chance to suck him up. But as I was saying, like Mr. Lugs and uh, a couple other ghosts, he's completely optional. You don't have to do him. Really? That was so freaking close. And I would lose a bunch of coins from getting shrunk. It doesn't matter on this save file, because most of the ghosts I do have a gold frame for. As I explained in a previous video, why I had to use a different file. There we go. That's a shame, though. I had it down to 13. And only a couple more, and I could have had a gold frame out of him. Not that I don't have one of them already. Uh, but the treasure chest he leaves behind is full of tons of treasure. And you also do find a hidden boo in here in this room. Somewhere. Wherever it might be. Oh, it must be in the chest of drawers. It is I, Fair Boo Regard. No, I know what it's supposed to reference, Beau Regard, and oh gosh, that's the first time that's happened. Before I leave the room, I'll have to find where that boo went off to. Uh, but before we leave the room, you can run on this treadmill. This is really the only thing required to do in the room. When you run on it enough, a key comes out of it. For some odd reason. The key is also optional, I guess, because all it does is opens up the, the locked door to take you back out to the hallway, which is right here. So now we have a shortcut back out to the hall. Did I say required? That was optional. Well, you get the idea. Uh, Boo found... This is the adjacent room to where Boo was just at, so we'll have to find him somewhere, wherever he might be. No, I'm assuming it's a boy, because it's Boo Regard. Must be in the xylophone. Boo Regard, stop looking at me. Well, fine then. Don't you dare get away. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got 16 out of 50 so far. And I would play the rest of the instruments again, but I should get moving on. I'm already 14 and a half minutes in. we kind of done nothing but side questing. <laughs> I hope you don't mind that. I, I personally like that about games, though, the side quests. I don't know if I've talked about that before, but I like it when they offer stuff like that. 
it, like I said, it is all optional. You don't have to do it, hence the name side quests. It usually is optional. Oh, give me that heart. Give me. Thank you. And we have the eerie music playing. And I'm so glad we got a water ghost because this door is on fire. I don't know why I couldn't open that. But in here we have the tea room. And we have dishes flying at us and grabber ghosts. Oh, I guess that's not Uh, before you do anything, though, I really shouldn't be sucking them up, and I'll show why here in a minute. Oh, wait, maybe I went the wrong way. Maybe it's over here. Okay, it didn't work. I'm trying to get a gold mouse that appears in this room. Again, the odds of it showing up are 1 in 4, but... Well, give it a try, it nonetheless. Oh, wow, I would have thought there had been more than two. If I'm not mistaken, there was a piece of cheese in this room, too. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Let's go ahead and open up the treasure chest, nonetheless. And inside this, we have another elemental metal. This time, we got ice element. And it's coincidence that we have a bucket of ice right over there. Ice element metal, which I just explained. Uh, they're found in chilly places. You'll probably find them in refrigerators and cold areas. Yep. Just, that's common sense, really. Yeah, pretty much the same as the previous elements. Um, you can shoot out frigid lump of ice if you shoot it, the button, the L button, all the way. Of course, that makes my controller sound really loud when I do that. It does create a lot of, uh, noise, whatever, I do use the L button the whole way down and keep clicking it like this, you can, that, I'm sure that gets irritating, so I'll try to avoid doing that as much as I can. Anyway, he says even a hot bath would get cooled down pretty quick if you iced it down. That's a very convenient item you found there. I'd say so, too. Ice is always associated to be, yep, there was a cheese there. And to prove this, um, you should do this when the room is dark. Um, so sadly, I missed out on that opportunity. We do get the ice element, though. I don't know if I needed that heart, but... Man, is there nothing in this room? Well, there was gold mice. More than one, actually. I'm very positive this was one of those rooms where you could get two gold mice because there's a piece of cheese and then one just appears randomly from walking in. And, oh, I forgot there was something in that box. Jingle, jingle, Mr. Boo jangles, I think's what it said. I didn't catch it quick enough. Hey, don't you dare leave. You're mine, ghost. Or Boo, I should say. Or Mr. Jangles. Boo jangles. Yeah, we already knew that, you gad. But nonetheless, thanks for the tip. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do in this room.